The Hopkinton Lady Hillers entered the postseason as the two seed in the South Division I bracket of the MIAA Girls Tennis Playoffs. In the first round, the Hillers took on Silver Lake and captured a 5-0 sweep. HCAM's Alex Walton caught up with a couple of Hiller tennis stars. So far, so good. I mean, we had a pretty successful season. We are um, TBL big champs. Big league champs. champs. <laughs> and, oh, actually, all TBL champs, right? Yeah, I think that's how it goes. They just split up the TBL, so I'm not really sure how it works, but we won it, so and that's we were pretty undefeated good. during our own season. Yeah, yeah in the TBL. Congratulations. Team. Thank you. How long have you guys been playing tennis for? Um, I started playing tennis. My grandfather was my first teacher. He taught me when I was really little. But um, ever since then, I've been playing tennis. So since I was like five, I want to say. But I didn't really get into it until middle school. Um, I started when I was nine years old, and I started playing at Westboro Tennis and Swim. Nice. How'd your individual matches go? Good. I won my match 6 1, 6 0. And um, I won my match 6 0, 6 1. So we flip flop. Yeah. <laughs> nice. In the next round, the Lady Hillers fell to Brookline in a great match, 3-2. The TVL champion, Hillers girls tennis team, finishes the season with 17 wins and 2 losses. The Hillers boys tennis team entered the postseason with an 11-5 record and the 7th seed. In the first round, the Hillers boys took down TVL rival Westwood 4-1. to one. Well, your team has made the postseason, and it seems like it's been a great season so far. Uh, how's it been coaching this group this year? It's a great group of kids. Um, you know, we knew that we were going to have some, some leadership from the top coming in this year. Um, but at the same time, we graduated seven or eight seniors last year, which also meant that we were going to have some young players coming in that were certainly going to need to learn a lot. Um, you know, from, from those older players that have been with us for a couple of years. So just seeing the way that they've progressed um, over this, the course of this last year has been great. You know, a lot of players when they come in don't necessarily come in with a lot of doubles experience. So I think a lot of the efforts were concentrated in that area just to bring them up to the up the speed. And they've, they've certainly gone well and beyond what we could have asked of them. The, you know, they come in, they work hard every day. And evidenced by, you know, how well they've played this year to put them in a position to be successful today, we're just really thrilled for them. And going into the postseason, uh, what are the hopes of the players and yourself as far as the expectation? You know, I think, as always, we try to take it one match at a time. We try not to look too far ahead. Um, so, obviously, the objective is to go out there and, and win today, for sure. Um, but the reality is we just go out and try to play the best that we can, the best tennis that we can, dictate um, the pace that we know how to play at and um, keep the pressure on when we get in those, those tight matches and certainly play not to lose but um, you know at the same time we want to get out there and hey it, it, it's game on when the playoffs come so we're certainly looking for a W today. And I know it's a younger group you got this year but uh, how's the team chemistry? Team chemistry is great. Again you know starting off with a lot of new players you never have an, uh, a full idea of what that's going to be but they've certainly meshed together really well. You know um, if I'm not asking you to turn the camera around, but if you will, you know, you'd see how, how well they just work together. They talk well with each other. They communicate. They're a good group of kids. They bonded very well. You know, we just had our parent um, player tournament this past Sunday, which was a great, always a great bonding opportunity, too, for the parents to get to meet each other and for the kids to have an opportunity to share, you know, their skill in their craft with their parents. So things like that, I think, really do a good job of helping to build the team chemistry. And we really couldn't have asked anything more from them when it comes to that area this year. Well, Coach, we wish you the best of luck today and hopefully many more playoff games to come. Thank you. Appreciate it. Hopkinton went on to fall in a close one at Dartmouth 3-2. The Hopkinton boys team finishes the season 12-6.